Mr. Beat presents Supreme Court Briefs. I mean, there are a lot of words you can say whenever you want, you know? Pneumonia! Nobody gives you a lot of... All right, you can't yell it in the hospital a great deal, but what the hell? There are words that you can say, no problem. Topography! No one has ever gone to jail for screaming topography. But there are some words that you can go to jail for. New York City, October 30th, 1973. A radio station owned by Pacifica Foundation broadcasts George Carlin's filthy words monologue. You know, the one where he famously proclaimed the seven dirty words that tend to make society the most upset? Well, a man named John Douglas, who was driving his 15-year-old son, happened to turn his car radio on during the broadcast and... Uh, Needless to say, Douglas was upset. He wrote the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, so the FCC won't let me be. complaining that the station had played something not appropriate for his kid to hear. The FCC found that certain words Carlin had said depicted, quote, sexual and excretory activities in an indecent way, and the radio station played it in the early afternoon, quote, when children are undoubtedly in the audience. The FCC wrote a score holding letter to Pacifica Foundation, saying essentially, shame on you. They claimed Pacifica broke US code regarding obscene language on the radio. But Pacifica was like, we played it during an educational program about taboo language and we warned listeners before it aired about its indecency. Pacifica tried to get the FCC to reconsider, but the FCC wouldn't budge. It's important to note the FCC didn't punish Pacifica or anything. Regardless, Pacifica appealed the FCC's response to the Court of Appeals for DC, arguing the FCC was unfairly censoring them. The Court of Appeals reversed the FCC's action, agreeing that it was unfair censorship. On October 7th, 1977, the FCC appealed to the Supreme Court, and the court agreed to hear arguments in April 1978. Early on, justices made the distinction between indecent and obscene. They argued that they weren't the same thing. I know, right? I had always thought they were. So the question became, can the FCC regulate a radio broadcast that is indecent but not obscene? Indecent speech, after all, was protected by the First Amendment. The court decided yes. On July 3rd, 1978, the court announced it sided with the FCC. By a vote of five to four, it was obviously a close one. The court said Carlin's routine was, quote, indecent but not obscene, arguing the FCC could censor it on the radio to protect children from offensive material and make sure unwanted speech doesn't come into one's home. The court said the FCC could forbid indecent broadcasts during hours when children would likely be among the audience. Justice John Paul Stevens wrote the opinion of the divided court, arguing the First Amendment didn't protect Carlin's routine on the radio. Quote, We have long recognized that each medium of expression presents special First Amendment problems, and of all forms of communication, it is broadcasting that has received the most limited First Amendment protection." Unquote. Federal Communications Commission v. Pacifica Foundation was the first time the court reviewed the power of government to penalize bad language over the airwaves. It empowered the FCC, having a chilling effect on radio and television stations across the country. Critics say it just has justified unnecessary censorship. George Carlin died in 2008, but today his legacy is huge. Many comedians cite Carlin as an influence, and he's one of the most beloved comedians of all time. What is not beloved is this court case, which ultimately is what banned Carlin's seven dirty words. It remains one of the most controversial Supreme Court cases in American history. I'll see you for the next Supreme Court case, jury. Thank you for suggesting that Supreme Court case, Will, and thank you for your continued support on Patreon. How do you feel about this case? Do you agree with the court? How do you feel about censorship in general? Let me know in the comments below. I can probably assume that you hate censorship because this is the internet. But let me tell you, I do censor my own videos. As a matter of fact, you notice I censored the seven dirty words in this video. And it was even a big deal for me to show George Carlin at the beginning saying H-E double toothpicks. The reason why I censor my videos is mostly because I have kids watching, but also because cussing is kind of lame and 
kind of conformist. But that's just me. I'm actually personally against censorship. See you next week.